Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, where are we? Nah, it's not a good way to sign that. Let's do it like this. Ah, I screwed it up. Almost there. There we go. Let's get one of these. There we go. And I'll just give them both of them. <laughs> if they see this video, that'll be good. Oh, check this out. They're lucky. They're getting a uh, Gramps Chronicles uh, print signed by Gramps. But anyway, Merry Christmas. I know that for you, it might be uh, past Christmas already. It might actually already be New Year's, but for us, it's still Christmassy. Uh, we've just been to like five Christmas trees in our family over the last little while. So still in the uh, Christmas uh, spirit here. But in any case, whether it's still Christmas or not, uh, welcome to another vlog 245. Now I know that some of you are here because you saw this. That kind of looks like him. <laughs> You're filming. That kind of looks like him, right? Yeah. I only have seen of. him in. Oh, hey, look what he's got. Oh shit! What? Holy cow! That's not one of yours, is it? It is. Is it? That's friggin' awesome. This is when I like first started painting. Well. That's a good one. Just to remember how awesome I am. Josh from the best class. 2014. 6, 2014. That's cool. Dang, dude. So I taught you grade eight at Queen Street. Yeah. Grade nine at Brockton. Yeah. Your face is super familiar, actually. Place. You were friends with Josh? <laughs> Not those dollars. Oh, Josh. I have a painting you know, from Josh in my room. Oh, Josh yeah. Bernstein? Yeah. yeah. Are you brothers with Josh? No, no. Oh my gosh, what's your name? Why is he doing this to us? Whoops. My bad. That was an accident. This is not that at all. So, wrong preview. Or less so wrong preview, more so bad scheduling. I forgot about Christmas break. This is actually my last Christmas sale order to go out. And it's a doozy. Just filled with prints. So, thanks Karen. So anyway, I misscheduled, sorry. <laughs> well, is it supposed to do this though? <laughs> Oh. And then we got the customer and that's why. Okay. So it's all of them. So if you want to print something else, you can. No, I, I just wanted to check. No, I'm good. Okay. Can you check the Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Too bad these weren't here yesterday because I just opened all the other ones. <laughs> Oh, it's a bikini. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, thank you. You have a good day as well. Anyway, Mr. Shock is a teacher and he's on Christmas break right now. And since he's on Christmas break, I can't give him back that painting. I wanna do, I wanna fix it and then I wanna do kind of a revamp of it. And I can't give it back to him until he gets back, which is after the new year. Which means that there's gonna be a huge pause of another vlog. And uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, some people look forward to them. So instead of showing you that, uh, welcome to a different vlog, 245.
So I figure fixing this and representing it to Mr. Shock is going to wait till another vlog 249, I guess. Uh, and if it doesn't happen then, then I will do the same thing that I just did in this vlog. I do want to get to it soon because I do want to have uh, prints available for my next show. Which is another thing that I screwed up on because I think last vlog I said it's going to be in April. Unfortunately, I wasn't thinking. We have family who are getting married on the same weekend I had planned for my show. So I got to move said show. And speaking of that show, I have a bunch of ideas for it. I'm working on a whole bunch of paintings at the moment. Some are at uh, Miles's at AirClix, they're getting scanned and stuff. Uh, some are being worked on. I have a bunch of canvases to mark up as well. I'm hoping to have 150 pieces of wall art and some sculptures there. Uh, and one thing that I want to do uh, is, is hang an artist bio that's kind of like a, uh, not a piece of art, it's a, it'll be like a display. And part of that display is I want to show my very first painting that I ever did. You guys, uh, I've been waiting for this. Uh, I've been teasing about this before. So this, uh, when's the last time you saw this thing? Oh, it's been a minute. Yeah, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think you're going to think of it? Rob's here. Oh, should we, we <laughs> just leave it? <laughs> Teaser! <laughs> hey! How's it going? So, did you have a good Christmas or what? Alright, cool. Yeah, ours is good. So, in case you're curious as to why Rob is here, he's helping us remove this bed from this bed. <laughs> Yeah, Ken brings these up from Los Angeles or Arizona area to sell here. Oh, what the heck? What's stuck to I don't know. Butterfly thing. Oh, butterfly anchor? Yeah. Okay. These truck parts that he brings up are rust free, so they're quite desirable uh, in our part of Canada for people who like these trucks. And selling them actually pays for the fuel because Ken drives from Los Angeles to Edmonton and then back when he goes back home. I'm trying to get a cool shot. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. I'll do something at some point. I'm making his daughter a, a countertop at some point here. Oh, so at some point, you know, we're at Josh's feet. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> I'm gonna see. I think the chickens all went to bed, so I should lock that up so nothing uh, sneaks in on them. That could suck. Oh, well, we're not sleeping quite yet, obviously. It sounds like he's trying to wake everyone up. Hopefully, no one is out still. I gotta count them all, so Ginger's in there. Who's all here? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And with Ginger, that's 10, and that's all of them. Are there any eggs? No eggs. All right. Be good, Mr. Rooster. He's kind of mean, which is why Ginger's still outside. If she doesn't come in on her own, I will have to uh, put her in a little bit later. Although it's still, like it's mad warm. It's after Christmas, hardly any snow. This is the amount of snow we have, guys. 
Are you kidding me? All right, uh, we're just gonna head out to the shop and make some more boards here. It's a nice balmy minus 40 with the wind chill. That, I wanna do, oh, this, when you do this, it makes it start recording. Oh. And when it, I was just, hey guys, uh, we're back. I was just explaining some of my uh, future uh, painting ideas uh, for other shows. Um, and then I talked with my hands and so this started recording, which I felt. And so here's the awkward transition back into my painting. Speaking about paintings, my very first painting that I ever did uh, because it was raining. That's the reason why I started painting because it was raining, which meant that the ground was muddy, which meant that I couldn't walk across to an abandoned building to explore with my friend Jolene. Uh, so we went back there another day and in the meantime she suggested that I paint and I was like that is the dumbest thing I'm not painting that's so lame and we couldn't think of anything else to do and so we went to the dollar store grabbed the dollar store canvas grabbed some dollar store paints she ended up painting like a tree being struck by lightning I think on an even smaller canvas and then I racked my brain for something to paint, looked online for lots of inspiration, and then came up with this. And yeah, I have not seen it in a long time. Uh, so let's see it together again for the first, you guys maybe for the first time and me for- uh, For the first time. In a long time. Oh yeah. That's a, that's a great piece. So not my original idea necessarily. I just took an idea and, and made this, but uh, it definitely was a good jumping off point. And uh, for whatever reason, my brother Ken bought this one along with uh, my second and third painting here, which we're going to show on a live video. There'll be a link in the description to that. I'm not sure when we're gonna do that. You wanna do that right now? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, totally. Okay. Well, that's not exactly what I was hoping to see. All right. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So guys, we're here in the back room of the Londonderry uh, Art Gallery. And I was just trying to see what was above the ceiling out here uh, because I'm making some plans uh, for uh, a facelift for the gallery for my show which as I started mentioning earlier, uh, is, is changing a bit. Last vlog, I said that I was hoping for it to be in April, but April doesn't work because the weekend that I was uh, setting aside for it uh, is already booked up. For some reason, Ashley's cousin does not want to move his wedding to another weekend. And so I'm gonna have to move my art show. What an ass. I'm just kidding, but uh, <laughs> since he's gonna get married on the same weekend I had planned for the show, uh, we're gonna move the show uh, to another day. And uh, Blaine here, uh, who works at this gallery, he thinks that June would be a better time to do it, uh, regardless, because it's summer. So maybe we're gonna be doing it in June. And uh, that gives me uh, a lot more time to think of ideas when it comes to transforming the space, creating all the artwork, and uh, going back to my first painting, figuring out how I wanna do my bio wall. Saying bio wall kinda of makes it sound like it's gonna be like some eco, like green wall or something, but I just mean my biography. So I gotta choose a wall. Let's say it's this one right here. What? Oh, don't worry. I'm not showing you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> what do you think, Ken? If if 
for example, we had that rabbit painting here, had a little blurb underneath it, and then had like the, my first paint palette that has 10 years worth of painting stuff on it. Up on it. Um, yeah, it was a nice little wall. It's probably one of the brightest ones Yeah, I also want to put up my drop cloth. Okay. Which might be, I don't know. That's too small, I think. The wall's too small? Yeah. Because my drop cloth is probably the size of that. Can, can continue onto the floor. Oh, yeah. That's actually a great idea. Yeah. It should continue onto the floor. I was I was going to stretch it on a stretcher bar. It is a drop cloth, after all. Yeah, but I should, which I could still do. And then if it flows on, because, like, I'm not selling it. I just want to display it. Yeah. Right? Okay. I don't, I don't know for sure how everything will lay out because I still need to put my bio somewhere. And then maybe a picture of me and how I started painting and all that. I want to designate a whole wall for that, but I still want it to look like it's like it's art. It's just none of that art is for sale necessarily. Yeah. And then besides having a bunch of art on the wall, I also want to do sculptures on these pedestals and these in these mirrors. Which by the way, speaking of sculptures, look how big her freaking head is compared to the rest of her body. Look at that, it doesn't make any sense. Just the most massive head ever. <laughs> Anyways, so all the art that's in here is gonna get put into storage and then be replaced by mine. And there's room for about 150 pieces at the size I typically paint at. So it'll be a mix of originals and uh, like, like prints. So there'll be open edition fingerprints and canvas prints uh, kind of all over the place and organized in their different series um, that, I, that I have. So for example, I do a wall of uh, sports figures maybe and then another wall of the white paintings and then another wall of perhaps like the fish skeletons and then another wall of uh musicians wait did i say musicians already I wasn't listening. <laughs> Where are the, astronauts going? the astronauts are actually going to go at the front oh, okay. yeah so i'm actually most excited about the front actually so this wall here and that wall there are gonna be the hot dog astronaut paintings. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, part of the facelift of the gallery is we can paint the wall so that it's darker and then have the lights against the dark and the dark, because most of the backgrounds are, are dark. I think that'll look awesome. So I'm creating, I said I was gonna create 10, but I think I'm gonna do like 20, maybe. And so, because I want to be able to fill up the entire wall. And then the other wall could be like the different types of prints that are available in that series, okay. right? And maybe I'll do something with the pillars. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. But I do want to put like an interactive uh, thing right here. So I want to do like a uh, picnic table here with an astronaut sitting at it. So you could sit with the astronaut, get your picture taken. The pillars are rocket ships. Oh, I should try to figure out a way to do that, actually. That would be actually, that would actually be kind of cool. I gotta figure out a way to make it work. Um, now, one thing that I really wanna do, but I don't know if it'll take away, maybe tell me what you think. In the windows, uh, I wanna put two life-size sculptures in here, but they have nothing to do with space. I want to put a life-size bison there and a life-size hammerhead shark here. But, like... He's going to be here. Or maybe there. Somewhere. Just do the astronaut where the space stuff is and do the bison where other stuff is. I could do that. I could do that. It's just I like the window look. Of course, we could always just move them after the show is done. You do the space guy here, bison there with your animal stuff there. Oh, and do no space stuff there. Right. 
Yeah, so I could do that. Space prints like around the corner or something. Right. Yeah, I could do that. That actually might be good. And then I could put the shark like maybe there or back there or something because I do have right. I do have uh, a shark painting. Yeah. yeah exactly. But you could have two. You could put the shark over there, mine's in there, whichever one is more right. to draw people in. Right. Perhaps it's a good thing that my show is postponed because there's a lot of thought to put into it and it's hard to think of everything when everything still looks like this and I haven't created everything yet. What if I don't even have time to make those sculptures? Because they're, they're pretty ambitious, I think. Especially yeah, to create two. Better be cracking, yeah. Especially with my head thing and everything else that I'm trying to do. So, all right. I I'm glad that I came here with you though, because that's actually a better idea. Do the animals there? I only have a few animal pictures though, so I think I'll have to do maybe five more, just to kind of take up some space there. Yeah, or even just some prints. Yes, have, uh, yes, of course. Yeah. yeah, I would do prints, but like if you don't have time to do a bunch more originals, you can do prints of your other ones to put up there. Yeah, I would do that. I think I am going to do that. Like I could do the elk, but just the thing is, I only have like five total animals I think and Owl, I think all whale yeah uh, wolf. Uh, raccoon I, I have I think you have a wolf right it's no prints oh. and the owl I don't think there's prints either no no rooster the rooster there is yeah you gotta do the rooster I mean the owl I mean. yeah there's do you have it still no oh shoot <laughs> so I have to uh Maybe do another one. I feel like I could do Let's another one. Let's get it back. I don't even know who bought it. Was it one of you? You're ruining my show. <laughs> <laughs> no. Send it back. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, okay. Lots to think about. Yeah. The animal series is great, so I definitely think you should do more of those. I just I suck at animals. What? But they look awesome. Though. Yeah, the ones that I've done, but all the ones I've thrown away you've never seen. Oh. That's right. the most uh, stopped paintings that I've ever done. Really? Like, or I gave up. Yeah. Really? Or I'm just like, I just can't get it. People wow. are way easier for me. Huh. I don't know why. But what do you think is a good time in June? Third week of June or something. Third week? Yeah. 21st. Yeah, celebrate the summer equinox with Josh Alexander. Wait, the equinox? Is that something to do with space? Summer. Well, the sun. Yeah. The sun? Yeah, oh, I should do. Be a theme. do summer, summer. Usher in summer without. Yeah. Do a surfboard guy or something. Well, I'm doing a bunch of space paintings. Yeah. With hot dogs. Hot dogs are summer food. Yeah. Equinox has something to do with space. Mm -hmm. That's a great yeah, idea. Like, okay. Yeah. Mustard relish. I like that. Would like the hot dog. <laughs> 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 okay. So June twentieth ish. Right around the equinox. Or right. On a weekend, right? Whatever yeah, the whatever the weekend is. is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like it too. Mm -hmm. That seems far away, but it's probably a good thing if it's far uh, away. Was so fast, yeah. Man. Yeah. 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 And they say Trudeau's given us some money for the carbon tax. Uh, we uh, uh, we have uh, recently switched to drinking uh, water bottles out of uh, water out of uh, when we have water bottles uh, out of a uh, plastic uh, sorry away from plastic towards uh, paper um, like drink box water bottles sort of things. There's paper drink box water bottle th things. I actually was going to put a different clip of him saying it's not a tax because Blaine said. I guess Trudeau's gonna give us a break on the carbon tax. It's not a tax. I remember him saying that somewhere, but I, I couldn't find it. That's from years and years ago when he first introduced it. But then he accidentally did say it was a tax, like in Parliament or something. Uh, what we're also guaranteeing is uh, that this uh, tax, uh, this uh, pricing, uh, price on carbon. That was kind of hilarious. <laughs> And now I think that's just what he calls it now. I think everyone calls it the carbon tax because that's exactly what it is. But if there's a break on it, that's, uh, that's actually awesome because maybe people will want to spend more money. I think that's the point uh, that Blaine was trying to make. 
hey, if there's a break on the carbon tax, maybe people will buy stuff. Freaking almost tripped over this concrete here. Oh man, my freaking hot sauce. It freaking popped. It freaking popped. That's so frustrating. As I was writing the rest of the names on the door, which by the way, thank you to everyone who has uh, joined my Patreon. All these people and then also the door that's covered up over there. Thank you so much. Uh, these are all the people that I wrote on today and these are all from last time. Awesome, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. If you would like your name on the door, link in the description to my Patreon. But anyway, I was thinking about how if this wasn't popped, this would have been a great prop for the art show because of, because uh, of, you know, right? Condiments in my new series, new slash old series. You'll understand if you come to my show. And I know that this is Frank's Red Hot, but I could also have Tabasco. Why, why couldn't I have Tabasco? Of course I could have Tabasco. They probably make blow-ups of Frank's Red Hot, so since that one's popped, I may try to find some elsewhere. I have lots of time to think about it, after all. Thank you to Blaine for suggesting, what did he say, the Summer Equinox? That was yesterday already. Uh, kind of had a busy day. This vlog takes place over three days because we've kind of been just chilling with the family. Why? Looks like the little brothers can now beat the big brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good game. Right? Yeah, that was, that was tight, yeah. Okay. That was so fun. I've just decided which clip I'm actually going to put in between these. Anyway. Editing in my mind on the fly. Uh, this show is going to be awesome. I have lots of times to think about a date to be determined. I'm going to speak with Sharon, the owner of Sterling Gallery, and try to nail down a date. And as soon as I know, I will let you guys know on my socials and here on YouTube, just in case you're hoping to come to the show. I know a few people already told me that they're flying out to my show since it's not in April and it's in June, they may not be able to. I don't know if it's going to be in June. It may just be earlier in April. I don't know. In any case, I have a lot of work to do. I got a bunch of paintings started and uh, a lot more to start and finish. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah, this is going to be the best show that I've ever done. And I've done a pretty cool show before that was a lot of fun with my brother, Jakota. <laughs> Dude, that was so fun. That was uh, from my brother, Jakota and I's uh, show that we wanted to do annually that we named Purgatorium. Uh, we didn't end up actually doing more than one because our third uh, partner, if you will, uh, we couldn't work with them anymore. So we didn't end up doing that show again, but it was a lot of fun, as you might be able to tell. That was actually at the end of the show. There was hardly anyone there, and Jakota was still trying to you know, put on a show. He was a little, you know, under the influence, as uh, might be obvious, <laughs> playing Air Bass uh, with uh, Last Call Promises. That band, uh, many of you will recognize. That's my friend Jarrett and also Scott, who uh, records a lot of music for my vlogs. In fact, he even did the song that I played earlier when Rob helped us with his tractor. Um, I'm hoping that they'll be able to do uh, my show if they can make the date change work with their schedule. I'm hoping so. Uh, 
But if not, I'm still going to have some sort of live music there. I'm actually hoping for two acts. And we'll see how it works, uh, how it works out. In any case, it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you can't make it, uh, or if you just want to experience it again in 2D, I will be chronicling this event. Uh, it's going to be a little different than what you're used to seeing me make. It'll still be kind of vlog style, but I'm leaning towards maybe doing a documentary style uh, video. I'm not sure exactly. I want to chronicle some of the uh, creation of the art, right? Uh, the transformation of the gallery, the show itself, some of the music, which hopefully I don't get demonetized from that last clip uh, or future clips. Uh, you know, just in case, uh, may as well shout out my Teespring. If you want this hoodie or any of the other stuff I have on my Teespring, it's actually the last few days that my Teespring is going to be open. I'm going to be closing it forever uh, and then making a, a merch store in the future. But until the last day of 2023, you can get this hoodie and several other hoodies that I make and shirts and all these other things that I've designed. Hopefully this video comes out in time. <laughs> If it's if it's 2024, disregard this. <laughs> anyway, I got a lot of work to do, uh, so I'm gonna get on that. This show is gonna be way different than any show that I've done before. Normally, they're themed like Purgatorium. It was Halloween themed, as you might be able to garner from the name. It was like macabre style stuff. There's different media's uh, used to put the the show together, but it was definitely more on the creep factor, uh, which we both dig. It was in October, so it all fit together. This show, there is no theme. It's, it's Josh themed. It's me themed. This is the work that I'm creating. We got Einstein. We got weird hot dog space paintings. We got uh, Dolly Parton. We got other musicians. It's going to be kind of a bunch of... A different stuff kind of like how you see this room is what it's going to be but more organized more consumer friendly because obviously we're trying to sell some things although you can come just to check it out as well uh, but if you're getting the carbon tax break <laughs> I may even do a little section, maybe in the bio area, uh, where I have a work in progress piece or, or two, depending on how, how it looks aesthetically. I'm trying to make the show aesthetically pleasing, obviously. Um, so if that adds to it, I may do that. I'm kind of doing a mix of like fine art and low brow. I'm a big fan of just being creative and sometimes that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be fine art it might be lowbrow and which to me they're interchangeable so you might see some canvas pieces you might see some skateboard pieces and to prove that that works uh at least to an aesthetic that i enjoy um i actually brought this in <laughs> oh whoops I almost put my foot through a brand new canvas. That would have sucked. Although maybe I could have added it to the low brow collection. I could have done like some sort of conceptual breaking of the fourth wall or something like that. But it's fine. So we'll keep it for the fine art. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the other day I brought this in to the garage to hang up along with all the skateboards that I've painted. Uh, this is, I'm pretty sure these are just a bunch of bootlegged images put on this skateboard, which is kind of hilarious, especially if you uh, know about Banksy and his commentary on the world. Uh, but it looks cool, so I got it. I'm pretty sure this show has nothing uh, to do with Banksy, apart from that it's his artwork but I guess it was a couple months ago we went to the traveling Banksy land exhibit I uh, came uh, here to Edmonton 
and it was pretty cool. But anyway, they had this and a bunch of other ones displayed on a wall, and when I saw it, I was like, aha, that's something that I've been doing, not in galleries, but at Art Walk and such, selling it along my fine art, and I thought it was so cool to see uh, someone of Banksy's calibers, although you might argue that his, all of his art is sort of lowbrow. I guess it depends on your opinion on on art. Uh, he's definitely uh, made it, although somewhat unintentionally, I suppose, uh, in the art world, and therefore it doesn't matter what his art is, lowbrow, highbrow, fine art, whatever. It's, it's, it's uh, a cultural uh, phenomenon, I guess, at this point. My point is that they looked great displayed. And although I would display differently, uh, and in my opinion, uh, more uh, cohesively with the rest of the show, um, it just reinforced my idea that that would be kind of cool to have skateboards at a show. I've always wanted to do that. And I may do that at this show. It just has the Josh flavor. It wouldn't be out of place at least the way that I would uh, like to do it I just want to have an eclectic mix that that says this is Josh's show this is awesome I'm glad that I came anyway I think that's enough rambling thank you for watching I'm sorry if you came here for this painting here and the story behind why I gave it to Mr. Shock and who Mr. Shock even is to me. Obviously, he's he was my teacher, grade 7, 8, and 9. Uh, I took this back because it needs some repair, which I don't think I explained in the short, but now you know. Uh, I'm going to be sprucing this up and giving it back to him. Uh, and maybe he'll come to my show, and maybe he will uh, be able to give you some insight. Although, he didn't really remember. Well, he remembered Josh. He just didn't remember what... Josh looked like apparently but anyway uh that will be coming out hopefully another vlog 249 I just picked that number out of the air so who knows the cycle may just continue <laughs> anyway I hope I uh made all my points make sense and I resolved any questions that may have arose from watching this vlog by the end. This is the end. To be continued.